Jesus, I'm not even situated here. Oh, we're good? Mm -hmm. Alright, we're back. Welcome back, everyone. It's been two weeks, and we're eager to get back to uh, drawing blood. Your inside look. Can you hear me? The camera's dark. The camera's dark. Oh, boy. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, it's so slow, too. Um... Well, Drawn Blood is an inside look on the game Hashtag Blood, a traditionally animated top-down adventure in the spirit of Zelda and uh, our favorite Cartoon Network cartoons from the late 90s. Uh, yeah, and sorry for the delay, uh, Cody, Bob, and myself, and Andrew. Is Andrew going to join us? He might join us. Uh, we've been super busy going out of town and all this stuff, so... <clears throat> But anyway, we're in it for the long haul now, and I think we'll get back to doing these once or twice a week. Uh, joining me with me today is Cody. You hear the clicking in the background, that's him. And Bob. He's always here in the studio. And hopefully, uh, we get a sneak peek of uh, Andrew coming in, too. The other programmer. And one day, we might even get all five of us. But uh, <laughs> that's pretty rare. Stop. So, um... Stop. Let's see, let's recap where I was left off. So last week, <clears throat> or two weeks ago, we were working on one of the mini bosses, or maybe the first boss, we're not sure. We dubbed the Rat King, so I'm going to get and show you some of these sprites that we were doing last week, because we're moving on to a uh, new character this week. So we got the idol, the stomp, all that stuff has been... The last month been well documented. We got some hits. Been getting smashed out of the ground. So we kind of got his first connotation here. Like the first, you know, the, uh, some of these bosses are multi tiered. So uh, we got the first one done. And we're going to start working on the second one. But that's sort of a reveal. So I don't want to show anything that uh, might be a surprise in the game. So, and we got some hits here sort of what we worked on last week. Lands on his head. This one he lands on his backside. Same exact dirt animation though, and same exact debris. Um, I'm always a big fan of just taking stuff that I already animated and kind of repurposing it. It's uh, something we do well as a small studio, I think, which you always have to do. All right, but enough of him. We're moving on to kind of just this uh, real easy kind of fighting character. It's a uh, it's a fly, but he's pretty big compared to um, Becky or Corey and stuff. So I just started this today. I did one version of the fly idol that I wasn't a big fan of, so I kind of just started from scratch today. And this is what I got done so far. So we got his idol. That red line down there is a guide, but that's where um, the ground level should be. So if Becky's standing adjacent to him, she would be exactly on that red line, the bottom of her. So we got uh, going up there. This guy only needs to be two directions because he can flip back and forth and back, um, left or right, I mean, and back and forth. And I think that should cover all the ground we would need. To, I don't think we need a front side, all that kind of stuff, since he's kind of in the air. So we got that one. This guy, the back version of him. I got one hit when you get when you hit him from the front. And if he, ah, uh, we haven't finished this one yet, but that's what I was going to go into when I finished the death animation, and I'll show you how I'm going to stagger these and get to this frame so we have an exact kind of replica in terms of timing for the hits. Um, working on the death animation though, and uh, so far I got the body kind of decomposing, and then I got like this little uh, bug inside of him that kind of just disappears when uh, he falls, sort of like a little hatchling of it. So we're working on that timing now, we're going to time that all out, and then we're going to fill it out with debris, so more blood, more gore, that kind of stuff. So, let's start with that. So I'm going to keep this guy um, guided on top, not guided, just uh, onion skin, so we don't uh, get too distracted by that. Alright, 
So this little bug kind of gets like he, uh, um, the fly kind of disappears going up. So I'm having the um, bug inside of it just flip up kind of like that, like the inertia of him. But then he hits the ground and kind of crawls away. All our debris and stuff always disappears because uh, we don't want it kind of sticking around, taking up uh, memory or space on the screen. It'll get a little too distracting. Hey, oh, we got some more people. Lauren's here. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad we we don't lose Lauren, aren't you guys? We're we're so inconsistent with these things. Uh, just creeper. That looks new. Hey, how you doing? And Ra I think Rabasardi we we've had before. This thing on. Oh, uh, Andrew's on Andrew. too. Oh, a rare sighting. Andrew, is this music loud for everyone else, or is it? You can hear. It's pretty it? loud. It's pretty loud. Can I turn it down? Right here. No, click on the, yeah, yeah. that. Yeah. Grandpa Burns working on Grandpa. some stuff. Grandpa. Uh, his mouse is actual. And just drop that down. Drop that down. Gotcha. Sorry, everyone. Yeah, I can't hardly hear myself talk. Not that I want to hear it, but. All right. Eating pizza. Good eating pizza. That's a good Friday thing to do. I'm going to do that uh, with my kids later. Movie night. All right, so where was I here? Um, yeah, Andrew, uh, say hi to the crowd. Well, hello. He's <laughs> our programmer. Uh, he's been burning a lot of midnight oil. We have two programmers, uh, both on right now. Oh, the subscriber. Good. Keep them coming. I'm always well, fascinated that people want to watch me draw and, and curse out stuff, but I guess it's entertaining. So what have you been working on, Andrew? Why don't you uh, let them know? Uh, uh, let's see. On? Lately, I've, uh, so I've been working on our uh, inventory system. Yeah, so, uh, we we have yet to lot put of, that lot in the of game. The, a lot of the fun data architecture that I know everybody's really excited to hear about. We should put that on the stream. That sounds like it'll put some butts in the seats. Hey, and we got 50 heart something. I don't know what that does. Anyone know what that means? <laughs> Uh, it's like 50 bits. Oh, 50 bits. All right, Alex, we, we owe him a drawing then. I know that much. <laughs> that, I, I know when I see a number, I owe someone a drawing. But hard. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to throw a number up there. Hey, at least when I draw something for people who tune in here, it's that no one sends it back and asks me to redo it. <laughs> that, that's more than I could say for the paid work. So, uh, let's, uh, we'll, someone could grab, uh, Alex's email from one of us and, uh, I'll, I'll get him a drawing, uh, early next week. So, um, so anyway, you're, you were saying, Andrew, you're working on an inventory system. Yeah, just, uh, the data models behind, uh, how we're controlling all the items that you pick up and, uh, how those get persisted into the save games things like that making some uh, kind of base ui menus so that we have something to work off of uh, when we start making pretty looking ui menus so for a novice like myself in terms of that end of it how long would something like this sort of take and how much infrastructure and all that stuff uh how long have you been working on it uh this i you know i've probably put maybe 10 or 15 hours into this one feature and um then and is it almost finished it's it's almost to the point where uh we would start like it would be finished to for what we need to do right now okay uh, cool and then as we're building out the rest of the game and we're deciding which content goes where that's when you know it, it'll it'll be kind of like a growing living thing as we go but it'll be a point where it's ready to take on that's awesome and that took uh 15 hours it's it's crazy to me like it's, yeah i mean it's yeah. it, that's i mean it's hard to estimate because you yeah. know it's like i'm working on an hour here hour there and then i'm jumping and doing other things sure and, yeah. no it's not like 15 straight hours which no, uh, no 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 you know probably get done a little more consistently there but no it's all these little things i never even think about when we decided to make a game that you know all that and, and cody you're working on a tile system or getting the tiles the backgrounds into the inventory right 
Oh, Mitch, you yeah, guys had too many games. Oh, okay. Do, do you guys remember, Alex? Uh, we've been a lot of people at too many games. I'm glad you're <laughs> uh, glad you're tuning in, though. Uh, so, Cody, what were you saying? Yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, Bob's been working on so many backgrounds uh, over yeah. the last couple of months, and I haven't been able to bring anything in for us to sure. So, just kind of getting back into it and remembering how you know, trying uh, to organize it. How's that coming along, though? Are you, uh, are, you, are you getting a rhythm again? Yeah, no, I finally got that down, and just like, you know, uh, especially Becky's house, it's just so many different. Sure. You, know, you got super creative with each room looks different, and yeah. trying to make sure that it's going to be organized for us. We have no shortage of assets that you could be programming, that's, that's for sure. The problem is, I made them all right here. We, yeah, we're doing this sort of smash mouth, and that's why everything's a different size now, and... But, uh, we'll get there. Especially now. Oh. Boy, I always get, uh... No, text. Though I'm sure I'm getting emails, too. I just choose to ignore those. Um... No, we're, uh... You know, hopefully we get get accepted into MAGFest, and then we'll, we'll kind of announce our road to MAGFest, which we did last year on where we are with the game and how close it is and stuff and that, that'll be somewhat of an event i think when we finally get there i think we should all grow our playoff beards andrew you and i what do you think i mean <laughs> they're like I don't don't shave until january 1st <laughs> it's easy because i don't shave yeah. <laughs> cody you down I'm gonna, oh well, i got i got a shave right before spain so i'm pretty much i was pretty sure i wasn't gonna shave you so weren't gonna so shave until january I had to shave every three days. I was like, I get uh, super itchy. Wait, we're missing some stuff here. Hey, how did the event in Spain go last week? It was great. I I loved it there. I, I didn't know what to expect, really, when I were going to it. Um, but everyone was so like-minded, and it was one of the best-run events I've ever been to in terms of, like, every just everyone was on point getting you where you needed to go everything was very centralized but i think my favorite part was uh the people we met right cody like uh uh the there is this um two people from tumblehead studios that uh that reside in denmark they we got along with them well really nicely and we hung out with them as much as we could and then um this company oh, yeah. Called, mainly, called, yeah i was gonna say mainly because you know, most people spoke Spanish. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it was it was easier to kind of like without the language barrier to hang out with them. But even who's, I mean, they speak uh, Danish or Dutch too, so that English was their second language anyway. But mm -hmm. uh, for Cody and I, who just speak English, it was a little easier. But um, and the Silly Walk uh, company, I think that was uh, that that was a really nice meeting them. Because they're a real t small company, and we, uh, I noticed a lot of parallels between how they run a studio and how uh, we choose to run a studio. And everyone there just had such a passion for animation, and it just it, 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 those of us who work in animation in the states um, has surprisingly little to do with animation. And what I mean by that is, uh, like the business end of it is difficult and frustrating and all that stuff but these people were we were just talking about techniques and and client troubles we all have and it was uh i, I just felt very welcome there so so it was an amazing time totally go back again oh yeah definitely. if we get invited i would like to bring the whole team there that might be a undertaking since we all kind of have to meet that you know I don't know if our families will uh, allow 10 days off a year. <laughs> what do you think, Bob? I'm, I'm lucky no. I get to go to MAGFest again. Yeah, MAGFest. MAGFest is sort of our... It, it'll be a celebratory thing. January 1st. New level, hopefully. So we're kind oh, of... Oh, not hopefully. Hopefully. Well, yeah, we'll have a new level eventually. Whether it's at MAGFest or not is, is up to them. <laughs> Uh, that's so much fun. I love the indie game community. Yeah, it was like a nice mixture because it was, they actually, um, it was animation and indie game and video games in general. So, it, I mean, for something like Hashtag Blood, it was a really nice fit, I felt like. Cody and I got to do a speech 
or a uh, little talk. Um, what else was there, Cody? What else did we do? It was fun. There was a lot, a, of, a lot of good a lot of beer, a lot of, a lot of food. A lot of food and lots of beer. So, I mean, it was really firing on all cylinders for me. Yeah, I think my body's finally recovered like, yeah, by the day. Uh, that was a tough one. Yeah. I didn't get to watch the Jets, which was another bonus. Yeah, but who can watch the Jets? Yeah, no. <laughs> Not even the coach watches the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. His eyes, his beady eyes are yeah, open. that guy is he's darting everywhere. Um, no, but it was a lot of fun. I, I, I hope to go back. Well, they said, oh, Katsuka mentions Oh, did they? Yeah, I didn't know that. I know the Silly Walk guys, um, they were featured in Katsuka, and, and can someone find the Silly Walk Facebook page or or Instagram and throw it up there? I, if you guys enjoy some of our work, I think you would. these guys are really master of the craft. Right, so, I'll just throw the web, website up there. Throw the website up there. Reach out to them. Uh, like them, share, do all that stuff, because these guys are really talented young too they're all a young crowd they still had hope <laughs> there we go uh no i would i would I, I wish more festivals were like this and that in the states but they even said that was sort of um they they were saying that that festival there the 3d wire was unlike other festivals there too so i think it was just a diamond in the rough kind of thing so let's see we're working on this guy crawling away I'm working on this uh, fly Andrew to, to add uh, just another little uh, non vampiric kind of enemy that we could put in the beginning yeah we need a couple of flying ones and a couple of crawling I have well Funny. Well, we got the flying down. That's. These ones, maybe you, maybe we already have the one cockroach. We got cockroach. Like maybe this one can shoot something. I can have him shoot something. I mean, he does have kind of like that thing that would indicate he shoots. Yeah, we're Cody and uh, Bob have been playing that uh, new release of an old. What's it called? What's all the game? Is it called? Link, Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening. Let's see, we're gonna play with this timing because I don't know. I think we'll slow down when he's going in and then we can speed up some of this stuff. I don't like to shoot on twos for too long. It starts looking really robotic to me, so. Kinda like playing with the timing this way. I like that it looks like it's kind of just crawling into the ground, like you don't know if you actually killed it. Like That's it's what I, uh, yeah. Well, I didn't want to keep him there, but what I could actually do is make this little guy, like I could make, like, you know how, like, flies spawn as, like, what are they called when they're babies? Larva. 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 Like, it could be a larva, or, and, you know, I can have it morph into one, too, so we can have a few different kind of stages of it. But no, I like to make these, um, like the kills, like fun to look at too. So, one thing I don't think we'll have a shortage of is uh, eye candy in this game. We have a lot of stuff, and we're making everything as interactive as we can. Oh, and Cody got, Cody and I got to watch people play our game too. And Andrew, you you translated everything into Spanish, right? For... Yeah, but then I broke part of it, didn't I? <laughs> Some of it was broken. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Well, as but, I said, if you, if you do all the programming, you also... Yeah, you, all if you do all, all the programming, you're going to have to assume all the all the mistakes. You can't blame Cody on that one. Yeah, that's, that's how I get, out, get that's away how, from <laughs> That's how Cody's got a flawless record. <laughs> <laughs> like the be safe mean. <laughs> Can't introduce bugs if you don't program yeah. it. I made a joke earlier and said, Cody, I'm going to be drawing bugs today and you could be programming bugs. It'd be quite meta. Is 
but I can. Ooh, let's see, that disappears. Oh, okay, good. It's worth the line, kind of. All right, so we're going to add a little bit of, like, blood or uh, bug, bug juice, if it were. So this is a little more debris heavy. When in doubt, always add more debris. It, it, it covers up a lot. It's, it's the duct tape of animation, I find. It can fix anything. That, and if it's still not working, they add a camera shake. That's what they do in action movies now. What, did, what was I watching the other day, though? It, it, it just... I was watching... We were trying to watch that uh, Expendables 3 thing I was trying so, to show you. <laughs> it's like I couldn't, I couldn't see no, a, like, it was a massively thing. massively done in, um, like, the second board identity. And that guy was yeah, really well, that good guy, at like, yeah. doing camera shake, but keeping focus on what... Yeah, but you could see it. The Expendables movies looked like somebody was no. just pushing the cameraman around while I, he was trying to film something. It was. That's that's all it was. No, but uh, yeah, Jason Bourne stuff. When like, you ever see the making of when the cameraman had to jump out the window with yeah. uh, Matt Damon? That's nuts. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. They. I hope they get paid right. No, right. I'm, sure, I'm sure they don't. <laughs> okay. What could he do? I might need a little more bounce here. We'll work on the debris next and see if... Uh, see if that covers up any problems. Remember, we're going to see everything at 25% too, so we have to... I think that's okay. All right, so we're gonna have the uh, blood and the debris, all that stuff, kind of follow the same exact trajectory. So, you know, it's a little bit floaty right now, but I, you know, I always like that debris when it kind of sticks in the air a little bit too. So we're gonna do that behind the larva too. So I always start with uh, the frame where. Um, the foreground, in this case it's the like fly skin, will be uh, covering all of it. So we're just going to rough out some stuff here. Ooh, way too thick. So we'll start with like something like that. Then it, like, it's going to follow up the spine of this and then it will float around here then slowly dissipate and you know I don't think if any should hit the ground and if it does it'll kind of follow the larva here and leave a little kind of splash when he hits so we can kind of do a few levels of a break having have fun with Werby oh so so oh did anyone get Alex garbage we need to get his email all right I had to send him a uh, Send them some artwork. We have to figure that out, guys. Alright. We're on it. You programmers figure it out. I'll hack into Twitch. Oh, uh, uh, Casey! How's it going, dude? It's been too long. So I'm just gonna follow the contours of this a little bit little guy. Uh Trying not to mess up the silhouette too much. And then it'll float here and then just slowly dissipate as it falls. And then we can fall slowly. I'll just rough that out here. Something like that. So I'm going to start with actually this one as opposed to the first frame because uh, the first frame is being covered anyway. It's really just a start off point. Sometimes I even color the debris or blood on a different outline too, but we'll start with black. The Spain was great, Casey. Uh, you, you would definitely enjoy it. Um, 
the, the especially the festival it was all about the artistry of animation and all that stuff but we had a really good time um, Cody and I got to do a speech uh, we met a lot of great companies and like-minded people it was a lot of fun I didn't know what to expect when we were going there and I was just floored with how beautiful the place was too the whole city it was in this little um, town about an hour north of Madrid called Segovia and it the epicenter of the town was a Roman aqueduct which you know I, I don't know how old that was but it, you know hundreds if not thousands of years old and it just the whole town is just filled with like that ancient architecture and stuff I think a lot of Europe is like that though I, I can't contest I've never really been there but uh it's just gorgeous just you get you know it just felt old and um it just just felt the history everywhere you walked not to sound too corny but it was really cool got some pictures too. Cody could probably throw some up there. It's cool to hear who who translated for you. You know, it was it, it just such an uh, ugly American thing. I kept thinking of it just like because we were coming into um, their country and we couldn't speak a word of Spanish or anything, but everyone could get by at least. So there was not a lot of um, not a lot of trans translation issues at all. And then there was people who just spoke it so fluidly, too. Yeah, we should put those on Facebook. If, uh, yeah, and I didn't have a lot of... Th there was some frustrations with... Um, the same in problems everyone has with the industry, honestly, is, uh, you know... Um, just hiccups in production and stuff. One, one thing I really learned, which was crazy, and I never thought of it, was um, the first guy we saw speak, he did one of the, or maybe two or three, actually, of the, they produced the Love, Death, and Robot animations on Netflix, the really elaborate 3D ones, and it was sort of their first kind of, what from what I gathered, one of their first bigger jobs. Um, you know, in terms of like, it was like 16 months of production. So what happens with um, Netflix is they pay in USD, the US dollar. So, um, which, you know, transfer to euros on in their case. Now, what happens is they, they fail to get something I didn't even think of, which was um, currency insurance. And it's sort of like a mortgage. It kind of locks in the percentage of when you... What, what's ever happening with the year. Yeah, the exchange rate. They didn't get that. And so something happened with North Korea and the US dollar plummeted or, or skyrocketed. I forget which one would have affected, but they kept losing. Like every time a world event happened, they would lose $100,000 and then gain another hundred. It was just, it just sounded so volatile. And it just, it was something that they'd never even thought of. And, and t to be fair, I wouldn't have either. Like I, I never really had to worry about that. But it was just so, like, it sounded like just one of those productions that just, it was more of a learning experience than anything for them. But to their credit, they finished it. They finished it on time, and it looked amazing. And, you know, I guess if you play your cards right, too, and you could you could take a gamble and not get in insurance, and maybe you can get more at the end of it if you, if you cash in right. Oh, it was Trump. No, I didn't, you know... I didn't bring up Trump a lot down there, um, or adjacent there, where wherever. Um, I, I got the impression not of not a lot of people in Europe were fans of uh, uh, our our leader. But it was something he did. He tweeted something, and and their production fell through. <laughs> something you never think of. <clears throat> Just, just imagine your budget got you know, like we're just sitting here, Bob. We're waiting for payment, and then something like that happens, and it's like completely out of your control. 
Though I guess we would have to argue you'd have to get paid for any of that to affect you. We have, we have, uh... <laughs> I know what you're, I know who you're talking about. Hi right, guys, well I gotta jump out of here. You had no, you, right. you, Andrew has work yeah, to do, Cody, what are you doing? I'm not, I don't have work, I'm not Oh, really. I know, I was trying to talk you up, though. <laughs> <laughs> doing nothing. Later, man. Alright, have, have a good trip, Andrew. Yeah, thanks, later again. Later. So, um, and Casey, that was, uh, Andrew, one of our other programmers. Uh, I don't know if you were on when he hopped on. So I might do a different outline for this. I'm trying to think what color the, the bug blood should be. Oh, I think I have. Okay, we'll make it that green. <clears throat> color this so we have it saved. I think also when he hits the ground, he'll uh, leave a little. Quick question about Ric Flair. That animation did on the drop. What are you in the first frame of the mix? Work from that, sorry. Uh, the animation, did you drop the audio into the first frame of MX? Yes. Yes, everything was imported into MX for that. Um, I think he, for MX though, you need to import it into a wave, right? Bob, or is it an MP4? Yeah, it can't be an MP4. It had to be a 44, not a 48. Yeah. So what we usually do is we have like a, like something like a YouTube to, um, like a video to audio link that you could take any YouTube link if you want to extrapolate the audio and just grab it from there. And then we'll bring it into QuickTime and uh, save it as a wave or an MP4. And then we can import it too. Um, Adobe Anime, I think you can bring in MP4s pretty easily though. That reminds me, we should tell them about our new series too. You could scrub on the timeline, yeah. You don't even really need to scrub with MX or, or even uh, animate. Oh, if you, you just. Might have, you always have to, you may not know about the. Um, oh, you don't have it on stream. stream. Okay. I'll show you what. Uh, yeah, here, Casey, I'm going to show you something. Okay, so let me open up the Ric Flair thing, actually. I'll show you. I know what you're doing. What did I save that under? Somewhere in your desktop, probably. Probably still on the desktop. No, I erase everything on my desktop. I've lost a lot of work that way. <laughs> it might be in pitches. Pitches? Did I do a Ric Flair? Flex, beer muscle, I can't find my Ric Flair thing. Hmm. Let me just open up anything with audio. Oh, this is an old Flex. That was when Flex Caliber was a kid's idea. Um... Market Warrior, something like ours. It's not a kid's, it's far from it. We have audio in here, right? Okay, so here you go. Okay, so if you're working in MX, you're gonna select the line of audio here and you're gonna go into properties. And then down here, it's probably hard to see, but on my um, screen, but uh, there's sound, effect, and sync. If you go into the sync tab, there's event, stop, start, stop, and stream. You're gonna wanna go all the way down to stream. And from there, you should be able to, you don't, you won't need to scrub. You can just hear, enter, and it'll play. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. Yeah. See, but I think if you select it, well, I think it comes in as event, and then can you, yeah. When I click it on event, you see you can't hear it anymore. So just, Put the audio into frame one, go down to sync, and hit stream. Forever. That should work. And I think you could do start or stop too, but stream does it so 
There's one of them that you'll hear it play, but it, it won't stop if, even when you hit enter. So definitely go to stream because it'll drive you crazy. Oh, you do we convince Casey? We 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 have another converter to it to MX. I love it. Yeah, it's free. Uh, to Adobe's credit, they're giving it away. It's always a sign of it. That's an admission of guilt where I come from. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, ju so just select uh, stream, and then you should be okay. Yeah, I don't know what that uh, event thing's for. I don't know who. It, 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 it was probably when you were pro like had to program it, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what it would do. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, and like in like old Flash, you'd like you'd put um, audio, different audio in different frames, and then and then move an objects to like go to frame five, and it would mm. play that audio. That's interesting. But it's actually not playing the frame. Gotcha. Yeah. That's because like, for the most part, like like games and Flash used to be. Like, basically every like it was called like one frame. Like you would you wouldn't actually the game wouldn't go to the next frame. It would just sit on frame one of the flash file and do everything. And that's like a button, right, or whatever it's called. No, those were oh no, no, Casey. This is a a a, a fly that's uh, dying. Dying. So no, those did look like amoebas though. We're working on the door. Thanks for the subscription. This music is that's all Bob. He has to get the we have to do more music too. We have so much to do, guys. Uh, we have I'm so much to do. Bob's doing uh Well, he's helping us pay the bills. Again, I should say allegedly, we haven't got paid in about four months. <laughs> we have the craziest. People treat freelancers like. Uh, I just. I, I guess just crap is the word, but. <laughs> no one cares. But I, uh, I can't. I have to rough this one out. No, we. I mean, we really haven't got paid in a while. That was another complaint. That was uh. That that needed no translation. That that was of. That was something that happened uh over in Spain too, though I guess. Um, the first Fantasia um, for that big lava monster they had lava monsters in both of them now <laughs> that's kind of a weird throwback I guess but do you guys remember you guys remember Fantasia right the one where the, like, it looked like a demon thing you know? yeah the demon coming out of the thing but like I remember watching I forget like a behind the scenes thing where the, the effect artist on that had to count like the debris of the lava because it was so big and so he, he would move kind of slow and like every uh cell had a hundred and like 15 like little pieces that he had to animate and keep track of i'm not doing that here these things disappear that's what people used to care 
there's lava with dinosaurs. Yeah, there was something in the new one too, or no, two, the 2000 version, where there was a. Uh, I know, I, Cody and I saw that in college. Remember, Cody, when we all yeah, went to the that. theater, the IMAX. The too. IMAX. Yeah. That was fun. I thought. The one I liked the best though was the the real cartoony one. Um, who's the caricature artist that it was based off of Chuck or something? Like yes, it looked like a New Yorker magazine. Yeah. Who's that artist, though, who they based that off? He's super famous. I mean, he did a lot of the New Yorker comics. Yeah, no, his, he, you would know his work if you're in the field. That was Chuck something, but I could be off. That's my favorite one, though. I thought that was really nicely animated. Something when it's super cartoony and animated well, it just, it really. Rhapsody and. Yeah, Hirschfeld. That's right. Don Hirschfeld. So Chuck was way off. Is it Don Hirschfeld? I thought it was. I know it's not Chuck Hirschfeld. <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't ring off the. All right, so let's color this, and then I think a nice little touch will be when this larva hits the ground. It'll leave a little debris field itself. Another layer when he hits right here. Now I don't want to go too far down or up because even though this is a top down adventure, you know, I don't want um, there could be a layering issue that would that would show up. So we're gonna kind of spread it out as far this way. You know, we'll get a little bit of depth. But you know, it could become a serious layer issue, a layering issue, especially if like Becky's running this way or you know going through it and stuff. So, wrap up something real quick. Al Hirschfeld. Boy, I was way off on both. No, Don, you're thinking of Don. I'm thinking of, oh, I yeah. I am. The, the indie guy. Yes, the, he, he was he was all the rage a while ago. I think he still does indie films. Oh, yeah, he did that, like, Life is something. A big award. The end of the world, yeah. He won a real big award for that. I was talking to, because uh, when I'm a Banana came out, it was so, like it was sort of not pre-internet, but pre all these like weird memes and all this, you know, layers and layers of things you have to reference and know. When it was before. <clears throat> it was before a lot of that. YouTube. Oh, I think it was. And um, I where I it's like, I was talking to someone who, uh, it was a teacher, and he they showed um, their students that. And it was just like not weird enough for them anymore. It was like because oh, that was so strange yeah, when that first no, came out. No, it's really strange, but that, like no one no, it's not, now it's just so tame. So I'm gonna overshoot and settle for this. And we're gonna have it disappear. Yeah, just, it's funny, but like, even Adult Swim and stuff, you know, remember, like, I just used to think that was hilarious, and now it got too weird for me or something. 
early Adult Swim. Alright. So, ideally, I'd like to have this uh, kind of splatter in the ground disappear as uh, the larva's going in there, too. Ooh. Got a Stranger Things song on this one. Oh, it might have been Luke. You want to stop for a second? Yeah, you want to stop. That mouse is acting creepy. No way. I know. It's blowing my mind. Uh, just play that again, right? Just Twitch, okay. And then just have it on one. Yeah. We don't want to get sued by them and Adobe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, well. <laughs> I can't wait to promote that later. Uh, well, I can promote it now. Why not? What? Um, our new series. Oh, our, new our, new, our new mini web series, which we do an episode a day <laughs> during the work week. Um, it's called... Uh, the Those of you who joined us before know our... Um, Sort of why we use MX and all that, uh, Flash MX, as opposed to Adobe. But we started documenting uh, the differences between the two. Um, and so far, Flash MX is winning in a lot of the time races. Though though we probably will have some where Animate will have to win, just to be fair. But uh, we got some stuff to, to show you guys. Do you get... Uh, Cody, do you want to grab the YouTube link or the Twitter link or... The whole playlist, and we we have a we have a bunch of episode ideas. They're really quick to make, actually. It's it's tough to document the. Just it's hard to do a one to one thing. Just the one problem. Yeah, because you'll do stuff and it'll have multiple problems. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, onion skin in uh, animate can it, it it changes the color of it at least so you know like which one's closest. But I don't like it because it's. What can animate win tax right off award? <laughs> yeah, no. If you if you're looking to get rid of money, <clears throat> animate and Adobe they they're your guys. Let's see. So uh, we got a few more on deck too. For the for the people who who know us best, I think they'll enjoy this one. Oh, Bob doesn't like it because well, if you, if it's, it's hard to explain. Black line, it's really tough to see what you're, what you're working on. It's. Like, yeah. if you're trying to do, like, a no-outline character, I noticed it was <clears throat> Like, you mean a no-holding-line one? Yeah, like, no-holding-line. It's better for that, you're saying. No, or it's, it's worse for that. It's, it's really bad for that. And you probably can change the color. I'm sure you can. It's probably something you can adjust somewhere. It's always, they, uh, it they keep adding the workarounds. You, that you expand the, like, if you have, you're trying to make keyframes and you're trying to expand the onion skin, I think mm -hmm. it gets lighter and lighter. Yes, no, the further you're away from the so, center, the lighter it gets. But I think that does that for MX, too. I could be wrong, though. I don't know. But, uh, no, it's, it's been a fun series. Bob and I have been cracking up with it. So we're just going to... Slowly start having this disappear and sort of center in. Might have 
to slow that down a little bit. So. Yeah, I might slow this down a bit so he has more breathing room. Makes people cry. It's true. Um, now, when we post these things, we're always curious who who uh, decides to like it on Twitter. And it's it's um, we notice a lot of the people who draw a lot uh, find animate kind of unusable. It seems like t I don't know. There's this weird kind of trend going on, in my opinion, where a lot of people are getting into animation and don't want to draw or something. You know, like they're they're looking for a lot of ways not to 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 get out of the act of draftsmanship. Which to me it's like, you know, you don't have to like drawing. I don't really care if you do or not, but you know, animation is about drawing though. Like Adobe character animate, it's just, you know, you're just trying to float around, trying to it, it, it's weird. Alright, so we could use that. I could get rid of the guide layer here, and let's just in between this and call this a day. Now, we noticed a lot of, um, I, I can't say any of the clients' names, not that they would listen, but, um, <clears throat> we noticed a lot of when we started the studio, we had way less people telling us which programs we had to use, right? Like, yeah. there was none of that. Now, it's a, it's sort of a constant conversation we're having, like, which, what, what are we going to use, and, you know, why are we using it and stuff, and uh, just, you know, it's interesting. It's one of those things that I'm just curious what, because Bob and I usually just hand over a quick time, or a Pro res or uh, you know a render of it so the program never really came into question before and I'm starting to think people want like to use the newer programs because they want to kind of toy around with the asset files which uh, you know you know and I'm the first to say it's it's not even really about the program it's what you it's the tool you it's a tool that you use one of these programs oh well one's, one's a giant tool one's a real big tool <laughs> I don't mind puppeting at all I mean and, and if I came off as like snobby about that I'm sorry I don't really like good puppeting is nice to see and it for something that like uh like a Bob's Burgers or something, you know? No, I, of course you're not going to draw that character over and over again. It doesn't make sense to. It's sort of a talking head show. You're kind of moving assets around. Um, I'm, I, I guess I'm speaking more of the smaller projects that we're not going to reuse any of these characters. So what's the... Um, you know, what? what's the deal with... Um, what's the deal... Um, with them wanting to kind of get in there and mess with it. No, it's... They just want to... Eliminate, you know, uh, yeah, it's weird. This is weird. Yeah. It just, it's strange to me. Well, I... That, that I believe. No way. Also, I've That's been watching. I, I was watching this thing on YouTube. <laughs> this guy spent so much time manipulating, like this one drawing, like it was just a bunch of layers. 
it's like he's bending the arm and using the bone tool all this crazy stuff and with, which alone is impressive it's like that's crazy to know all that and it's crazy to know a program could do all that and then he plays back the animation i don't even know if it's a he it could be a she who was doing this but um it was one frame it was like you could have just drawn this rabbit skipping a cr you know it was that smear frame you know the one i'm talking about no but i know it was like just one for it's like that was not uh, that the time you you spent could have been just drawing a smear frame. So it, it's also like where you want to delegate your time. All right, so we just have to slowly disappear, have it dissipate, keep everything on the same chart as always been our motto. I get so much enjoyment out of hand-drawn... Yeah, I, I do. Uh, you and I are a lot alike, Casey, in that regard. And, um... I don't know, I think a lot... I, I don't... I, it's one of those things I think people don't even re realize they enjoy. Um... Something like, uh... Like that, uh... Cla Claus? Klaus? Klaus? Even kind of disappointing Klaus. Klaus or Klaus Klaus. But it's just like, people who don't enjoy animation are drawn to that and i i don't know and there's this probably this weird you know biological ish, uh thing while everyone likes it but people do enjoy it you know primal are you talking about the show primal or the because that looks amazing too um no, there's something just, uh, I don't know what it is, but I know people who like watching, like, Bob Ross paint, who have no interest in art, even, you know, they just found it fascinating. But then again, like, all the real art teachers and stuff hated him, so... Oh, remember, yeah. Mr. Nasta really didn't like him. He said something, it's like, if you see, like, it's like, you see him draw that, he's like, he get, he was such a nice guy, Mr. <laughs> but when you bring up Bob Ross, because that was just the high school thing to bring up, he's like, have you ever seen a tree look that big? He was, he was like, <laughs> he was talking about a painting, it was like, that would be a 700 foot tree. <laughs> you know, he was so pissed. So he did not like I think because he was a painter too and he, his paintings did not take a half hour no that was amazing part of no the thing. and I was always like don't he's like when Bob Ross was like I'm gonna just add some uh, magenta and I'm like why it's a snow cover what are you doing and it's like oh this looks great <laughs> yeah no that Gendy show is that we we have to watch that. I haven't seen it yet. I love that. As you probably might have gathered, we, we do like Gendy here. Since we're sort of basing a game a little bit on his style. Just a bit. Just a wee bit. Not as uh, much as that uh, other game that was just kickstarted. Oh, based at all. Uh, it wasn't... It was portal. portal Chasers or something like that. Not to be confused with Portal Tamers, which I have nothing but respect for. Alright, after this we're going to go right to the fly being hit. <clears throat> you saw him at a target once. That's That feels like so... Uh, um, out of place or something but that's awesome i guess he's just a guy too i just feel like if i saw him i'd be starstruck or something <laughs> like I, I don't expect to see anyone at uh that i have so much admiration for oh really that's funny <laughs> did he go up to him But I, 
could do is another layer of debris, like since he splashes down, we can have um, some debris shoot up too. Are you on the West Coast, Mootsy? That has to be, I guess. Uh, not many people ever that. No, he, he would be like a celebrity, though, for me. Oh, Burbank, yeah. We don't have a lot of celebrities here in Riverhead. We have a, kind of a famous home homeless person who walks around and just uses every bathroom on the street though he, he's kind of notable that guy that guy was ahead of the time that guy might have been a time traveler he was talking into his apple wallet yeah I imagine LA is kind of uh, the epicenter of seeing that. I mean, it makes sense. Celebrity sightings. Probably most people wouldn't consider him a celebrity, though. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is when he splashes here, <clears throat> we'll add a layer on top. Kind of do a match cut here. A layer on top of the larva. Is the larva here? Here we go. So we'll go like that. Just get a little more dimension. All right, let's clean up that. Like I said, the, the debris is the, if you keep adding it, it'll fix any problem you have with your animation. Unless it's, it's a, a unless it's like a subtle animation, then I don't know what to do. And a happy yeah, little blood splatter here. Did he, he, he left? Yeah. Well, he, you know, the last six months he did put in, uh, what is it, <laughs> 11 and a half minutes? <laughs> Here we go. They put on a great workshop. Wait, Robert Valley. What is, what is, uh, oh, I love his stuff too, though. No, Cody put in his time. Oh, is that what he said? Okay. Can't give him too much crap, though. Oh, Robert Valley's the man. I know, you know, the thing with artists, though, I, I think most of them don't. Unless they're kind of wacky, they, they kind of like just talking to people. Like, I don't find them unapproachable at all. Uh, I mentioned earlier when we went to Spain, um, we were hanging out with um, this duo um, from... There, it's Tumblehead Studios. And you guys should check it out. If you got, like, it's really cool, stylized 3D. It looks a lot like UPA kind of stuff. They're inspired by UPA. And, um, sort of one of the bigger names in Spanish animation was, uh, gosh, you know, you know that 
3D thing. It's a kid show. It's like a duck and a kid, and it's Pocoyo. Pocoyo. Yeah, Pocoyo. He's the creator. Pocoyo came up to them, Pocoyo, yeah. or po Pocoyo. I'm not sure. Um, they because I saw a lot of similarities in their stuff compared to his, and he came up to them like at at a party because he was he was featured there. And he was saying how much he admired their stuff, and they were like so taken back. Like it was a super flattering gesture. But he just he just he went up to them because he enjoyed their work, and they he should have. It's amazing stuff what they are doing. I've never had that, Casey. No, um, I got to. Uh, my idols in animation though were always like people like. I happen to work with coming up. Um, there's this fantastic animator, and I don't know, a lot of people probably don't even know his name, but he runs a studio in Canada now. Uh, oh, yeah, I learned his name. Yeah, anime, Lou, Lou Salas, who's one of the best Flash animators I've ever met in my life. Yeah, I've learned, I didn't, I've I learned didn't everything from him. I used to, I, I clamor to look at his files. It was so, his files were so informative. And, you know, he runs a, uh, a studio now in Canada and stuff, but, like, I got, I was lucky enough to work right next to him in a small studio when I was first coming up. And, um, the studio I worked in prior was working adjacent with the studio that Lou was working at, so I never really got to meet him, and then I was hired by the studio he worked for, and I got to sit right next to him, and every day was just, like, so much more than I ever learned in school. Just like watching him too, just mirroring what he was doing. He wasn't, he was, and he was, was super Friday's the animated series, but he wasn't, he wasn't there, he was in Canada, I think, already. Yeah, so, he might have been. He moved to Canada got, pretty early. His files were on the server, so I could go through them. Like, yeah, and that, that was probably work, a, le a lesson you learned, work. right? Oh, I was crazy. He had one of the best senses of timing yeah. I think I've ever seen. Like, I loved his timing. He made, like, and he, he like, kind of did the perfect amount of hybrid animation between puppeting and um, traditional. Like, he just knew what to do. He just moved what he knew your eye was going to look at. Yeah, he was really good at eye direction. All right, so we got this kill here. Okay. Okay, so you hit this fly enough and he'll he'll eventually die and that'll be the thing. I wonder if we should have like a Yeah, we'll fix that later. Alright, so we have to do this animation right here. This hit. The same way we're doing this one. Same exact timing. So uh, those of you who joined us before have probably seen me do this a bunch. But what I do is I, I start with an extreme drawing. Like this is Kind of the hit like it settles on this part of the hit and now what I'll do to get this kind of stagger <clears throat> you see here he starts there and he ends up here and you can see he's like up down up down up down up down so what I'll do kind of a simple technique but I'll take two different extremes like a bottom like he's getting hit from the bottom here settles to that and vice versa, so I'll do um, where he's hit from the top and settle to the same exact drawing. Now what I'll do now, you see right now the layers are all messed up. I'll just in between each one twice. And then I'll kind of shuffle the deck of cards a little bit. I'll take one frame here and kind of stagger them over there so we get this real kind of violent kind of shake. Casey, have you ever met someone and they, they ended up being uh, not what you thought? Thanks to <laughs> A c celebrity. <laughs> not not middle-aged men down on their luck. I mean, all those guys are jerks. <laughs> yeah, gosh, I... I don't know if we were ever considered celebrities. I I just feel bad for anyone who considers <laughs> aim higher. That subway shop worker. 
Alright. Alright, so just the basic rough I'm doing right here. Also I have to add the wings in here, but the wings are a different color, so I have to do that last. What's that? A lot taller than you thought. A lot taller? Oh. Yeah, I guess most honors. My my back my posture sucks though. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, no. Unless unless I'm drawing a basketball player, which we've had to do oh, the last few days. <laughs> Athletics waved goodbye to me a long, long, long time ago. In high school, I had a little bit of... Uh, I was on the wrestling team and the track team and all those endurance ones. And now I'm drinking beer and I uh, had two soups for lunch, so things have changed. But uh, that was another thing with Spain. Uh, they, the, the, the drinks were flowing. It didn't matter. And we were six hours ahead, so I was like, <laughs> I was drinking stuff like it was 6 a.m. where my family was. Jim Starling, creative Thanos, my favorite guy. Oh, he really was a nice. Yeah, a vendor at Comic Con. That that's probably a, you know, that that's a hard thing to judge someone on. I feel like Comic Con now even has jumped the shark almost. That's that's sort of like like you have to buy you just have to buy your way into it now. Like there's no. I mean, there's probably like, I think they call it Indie Row or something where, um, I don't, I haven't been, I haven't been to the New York one in years, but, um, no, it sort of defeats the purpose though. If you have to, you know what I mean? Like if you can't, if you have to buy your, your way into it and it's just like, you're, what, yeah, you, like Marvel can afford a stage. It's like, there's no way you're going to be able to. <clears throat> Did you render that? Yeah. K E W L. Okay, so let's rough this out. I could probably wing this one. The part that, uh, This mouthpiece here would have been an issue, though. All right. Save it. Yeah, I can imagine that would make it real grumpy. What's up? Did you just did you get us? Oh yeah, <laughs> you didn't. It didn't pop up. Weird. No, I wouldn't. I, that that that's a hard uh, gig. Just staying in in like uh, those conventions are like interesting because they're a lot of fun. I have a great time doing it, and I love promotion. I love promoting the game. I love watching people play our game. I think it's a very rewarding experience, but you're on your, when we're at, um, MAGFest, you're on the showroom floor 12 hours a day, standing up, um, the hygiene's not exactly perfect from everyone around you, like that kind of stuff, it's, uh, it's a long, it's, it's, though rewarding it, it, it's taxing on, the, on a person. I imagine Comic-Con to be sort of similar in that regard. 
I like too many games though That's because that, that one was like you, you know yeah, it was like 10 to 6 and it's like then it closes down MAGFest yeah, is 24-7 a better group of people that call it like well it was more about the gaming this one MAGFest is a little bit of everything yeah everything kind of pops in but none of it's about showering no it's not <laughs> hardly any of it None of it was. You remember we made a joke? It's like, because I forget what was sponsoring it. Oh, we said It was like Monster Energy Drink. Yeah. God, I'm just going to say Monster. It's like, Old Spice should sponsor this. They'd make a killing. Hit or miss hygiene. I I, I think it's more miss. I'm just going to guess, though. I think it's different for you. Have you... Have you had to compete with Nintendo? No, no, we haven't. We also need a game to compete, to even be in the playing field, though. We need a first level first, then need more of it. Ooh, wrong color. Chipping away at it, though. That's all we can all do. Everyone's big break. Alright, so we got that one. I'm gonna have to add the wings soon, too. But let's do this guy first. This guy's almost a little easier, it looks like. Still better rough it out. Uh, we're about an hour and 15 into our two-hour thing here. I usually take this time to ask any of you guys if you have any animation questions that you think Bob or myself uh, can answer. It doesn't have to be about blood. If you're just having a... Uh, are you just wondering how we might have approached a certain project that you might have seen or having a freelance problem of yourself that you think we could help with? I always welcome the questions. We like uh, communicating with the audience, so feel free to write it in there. And um, if we don't get to it, we can just answer it on YouTube. And this this sprite I started today, and what it, these simpler characters I love because it's like I can finish a whole enemy in a day and then you know it just and I, I feel like adding one enemy it the, I, I always bring up the mileage like mileage and animation and games you get so much mileage out of just a single sprite or an animation and I, I find it fascinating because we could add a level of just fighting this fly now you know that as opposed to me spending a day on like an animation that a real subtle animation of someone talking at a coffee table say and it's seen 15 seconds and then gone this could be legitimately um hours of opportunity to show in a game so these simple guys that uh you know you don't need a lot even with these traditional animated games like you sort of need an idol, which I always add to everyone. You need um, the idol doubles as a movement in this case. Uh, a hit and a death, and then how to get from idol to idol, really. And, um, you know, we're talking six or seven sprites, and we have a creator. Now, programming it's a different issue. And Andrew and Cody left, so I can Okay, hold on. <laughs> Casey's dropping some deodorant knowledge, and I like it. Jim Lee at the panel gave away a drawing to the first person in the audience who had a stick-up deodorant. <laughs> that is amazingly brilliant. <laughs> so it's not just us that make fun of hygiene. That's amazing. What a good joke. We getting emails? No. Okay. So we haven't gotten any. No. No. That's 
always helpful. Oops, let's get that done. The what? The thing you just rendered? They've been surprisingly hands off the last few days. Someone else's problem. <laughs> You know what I would like to start introducing is, you know when Rubber Onion, they did freelance horror stories? I, I want to do a version of that, where I want to talk to more people who have uh, oh, industry cool. horrors. Yeah. Remember that? Those were, oh, I love that. Yeah. Gosh, I feel like we have so much more now. Remember the, like, the ones we when we were interviewed, how quaint they feel now? Yeah. Well, they were pretty bad. Oh, well. Yeah. I was always pretty bad. Time always has a way of making things a little easier, but but no, they <laughs> first one I forgot about the one we complained about. <laughs> it never aired. No, someone put it on air though. Remember, someone put it. It's on YouTube. Or maybe it's just my site. I don't know. Someone but how did they grab it? How'd they get it? Never know. All right, so I need to uh, put on the wings, and you see how the wings uh, <clears throat> are a different color here. So I need to. Did that pop on? Yeah, no. Is that going to be a pain uh, in the butt? Yeah. Oh, okay. As long as it's hard. Cool. Again, K E W L. Cool. All right, so I'm going to put this on a different layer. Get the color right. I always try to avoid um, like different line colors and cleaning up. It just spends a lot of time on it. But it, in this case with the fly, he needed. Um, he needed something because it, the, the wings weren't looking right when it was in pure black line. Okay, so this one is down, so we'll go like that. in between since it's going to be staggered you don't have to really worry about like a lot of consistency almost it's almost the more sporadic the better Same thing that's going to happen down here. I'm going to need this frame over here. But his wings are going to do something different. So these ones start up. So this one, you see how the wings face down then go up here? So I'm going to do the opposite on this, this one. And I'm going to start up and go down. Oh, there we go. Alright, now 
this is where the magic happens, where we make these four layers make sense. Because right now they're right on top of each other. So this is what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to... Now they're on ones, I'm going to shoot them on twos. Going to move the bottom layer over just one frame like that. So you see now they're kind of staggered. Then I just simply select and move these down right on top of where the blank keyframe would be. These two layers are the same. So get rid of that. So now I've got this kind of more violent shake than... Oh, that's the shadow, so we're going to have to keep that too. So ignore that for now. All right, so I got that. Got to copy the timing here. So I just go on top, I add the blank keyframes where this is right. <coughs> Excuse me. Put it right on top here. This is the idle, the let first frame of the idle pose for the fly. So I always put that as the last frame because I know I had to in between to that. Now we're not gonna um, have this embedded in the sprite because it's just gonna, um, it'll mess with, um, if we have a duplicate of the sprite. So we just have to kind of line up and assume it's gonna go right to that one. So it'll be frame one of the other one. So we're just gonna spread these out. So we've got that. Oh, I got this. Colored all wrong, excuse me. All right. And then we're just going to do a simple ease in to that. Can ignore the wings. I'm going to actually select these since it's on top of one layer. So I know that. So I'll do the wings last again. And then we're just going to in between this pretty simple stuff, just three frames. All right, so the eyes go behind the head. So they'll start going down like this. The head shape slowly start going like that. The body shape shrinks. So we're gonna forget about the wings for now. Just draw through that. So I'm going to instantly put the uh, eyes behind the head just so we don't have a weird middle frame. Now we'll just have an arc like that for the snout. Alright. <coughs> My youngest son has a cold and I haven't been able to kick, kick it. Bob always jokes that he's sick from, <laughs> he's, he's sick from the beginning of fall till the end of spring. You don't get a lot of fresh air as, a, as an animator, do you? I mean, one day with no, it was 90, degrees, then now it's 40, 40 degrees, yeah. There's no, there's no more gradual couple of weeks. No, there now. isn't. Uh, Spain, that was another thing. Spain had just gorgeous weather. Like, it was nice during the day and, like, a little brisk at night. It, imagine, well, like, what I imagine, like, California weather would be like, almost. Like, a little bit like, probably something like South Carolina. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can't. I don't know exactly, but it was it was very like, you know, um, just com you were comfortable. You were constantly comfortable. Head shrinks down. 
to start adding the eyebrow here. Make that red so I can kind of wrap my head around it. Get that body, a little torso here. Start introducing the shadow here. Let's see, I think I could probably, I'm going to wing it, see if I get just in between this, because that's close enough. Yeah, this is fine, we can do this. Is something happening? The server? What's up? We can't have that go. It's the most, most valuable thing in the office. All right. Now coloring. First thing I'm going to do is color the line. Then we go back into... The wings, which is the last real problem here. You could just in between, I think. I have to do it with the right line weight, though. Okay, so color those. Then the very last thing is sort of a pain in the butt. But what I had to do was select these, paint selection, and then just color the match line black. So you'll use a thicker brush here. Because it's te this is technically behind the torso here. So you just select the line and make sure you kind of line it up. And I do it quick. It, it doesn't. This is not a perfect thing here. That's fine. But you, it just it would bother me forever if I did it this way. That could go in front actually. This one's fine. This one no no. Okay, now we just get rid of the last frame. Oh, I need the shadow though, actually. <clears throat> the shadow is just a, a raw kind of uh, transparency here. So what I do is copy it there. This is the last frame. So he's pretty much bigger here, so I'm gonna expand this uh, just uh, for like Say 125. Then I just shape tween it at 100. So that shrinks. Now I'll copy that. 
and I'll do the same exact kind of chart that I did by staggering the it in the beginning. Between those at a hundred. Turn that off. Get to figure out so. of it all. All right, so we got got him getting hit there. Now what I could do, <clears throat> copy the debris, which I always have on a separate layer. Put that on top, because I want it to match exactly where that belongs. And the bottom debris. Then the last one, the shadow always goes on the bottom, always make sure that happens. Then the last thing I do, very last, is select this. And we're just going to make sure the body uh, is the same color as the debris and these kind of colorful hits. And every time an enemy is hit in blood, it's the same exact color and exact same timing. Just kind of trying to establish a rhythm. So you, when you're when you're really into a game, it's like those subtle things. I feel like if they were a little off, it would kind of be off-putting. Got a bit of a violent hit there, same exact timing. Two different angles. Now I don't know, the thing with the kills, I, I usually just do one angle of them, and I, I've never seen it really pop too bad. I mean, we could try something out here, and I could, I could test it out. I love the color. Oh, thank you. So let's do this. Let me send all this into a new file. I'm gonna try to composite something here that uh, looks like a little bit of game footage so I could send it over to um, Cody and Andrew and hopefully they can replicate it. More Andrew than Cody, I should say. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna select this and just file save this. So all I really need left for the sprites and um, we're running out of time on this one, so I probably can't get to it. Would be... What I would need... I'm gonna modify and duplicate some more. I'm gonna call this turnaround. I would just need a quick... Probably three frame turnaround from that. Line up the shadow so we know that's the exact. So I just need something from there to there. So like if Becky's walking, say this way, and he, I have it selected. Say Becky's walking that way. That you kind of want him to follow her, you know. So, it, and and as opposed to just flipping the symbol, you know, it it'll eventually flip, so it'll be the other idol. But you kind of want it to, like, if we're doing this traditional game, I I'd 
find it kind of distracting if you just popped over there. So what I would do is just uh, a simple kind of three frame real quick. Take from there to there. And I would do that. Um, I would usually do like an ease in, ease out. When you turn, like when you think about how a character turns his or her head, they start slow, speed up through the middle, and ease out. Now, for some game purposes, I don't want I want it to be quicker, um, mainly because if Becky's walking by this character and he could be at a different kind of he could be on this frame, so easing out would make no sense all of a sudden because it would it would be I'm just animating it from one one frame and it's frame one not frame nine so what I would do is the first frame be the the big in between and you could do like a smear frame so what I would do actually first is just to the first thing I would do is break this guy so he's just all one layer and the same with this just so you can see him a little better and I would do kind of a fun smear frame. And I always sort of do the arc. It's the, what I, I always call the Disney arc. You notice how all Disney characters kind of bend their head like that. They go down. So I did the same exact thing where the head would go lower. Do a fun smear frame like that. hardly see any of the body almost. And you see a little bit of the feet here. So the first frame would go like that to that. So it'd be just a giant ease out. And it's so quick here, but it, 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 it would add a lot of dimension to the game, I think, as opposed to just flipping it, you know, and it, all of a sudden it looks like we animated a lot more. Actually, let me just do this quick while I have... Oh, I got 18 minutes. Let's see if we could do it. I got this. If it's three frames, I could do it. If this was the Rat King, every drawing would be about a half hour, though. <laughs> Can't. I, I don't know who would tolerate that. And of course, since if Becky walks behind him, I'll need to do one where he goes from front to back, too. But other than that, you know, we, we mentioned briefly that we might do a shooting animation for this guy, and I could do that easily. But, um... Alright. You know, then it, one day, you know, I took off today from my... Our, paid work, air quote paid work, to uh, do this, but one day we have a new villain, you know, that, that's not a bad turnaround, considering how long I've been working on the Rat King, which has been uh, weeks in the making, he's a lot more advanced, and as he should be, he's the boss, or a boss, just gonna follow the contours of everything here. What do you guys like to get paid? I love the arguments we have too with it. That's my favorite part when okay, we're well, arguing that how we. I, how I'm going to do the choosing color from that Adobe Animate has. Oh. We, uh, we have another episode in the making. You could replicate the problems, except that there's problems that the technology didn't have either, you know, in, uh, in MX. So we have to do. We always have to do it one to one. No, I always want to be fair and show. No. Like it's counterpart. 
Yeah. So, well. What? I can't show things. Certain things. Yeah. No. There's certain things you. We just. You just. We can't do the technology thing. This will be red. quick <clears throat> if it feels too quick in the game I could always add more frames towards the end too but the first frame has to be the spear frame else it'll it'll never work um, because there's just too many uh, th there's just too many options when you have a 13 frame cycle and he's hovering too so we have to start at the halfway point <clears throat> I think one more frame. Let's see. All right. Wanna not ride the tangent here, so we'll go a little bit above there. And the arms is where it gets a little confusing. Because the head's moving one way and the body's moving the other, so it's a little bit of a it's not a very organic turn. Did we shut off? Because I just got the... I got a Streamlabs report. Are you guys still live? <laughs> it says we're live still, right? Yeah, still live. Okay, good. <laughs> we just... No, I just got a Streamlabs report. And then I just spit everywhere on my computer. <laughs> yep. Okay, good. Good. Well, if Bob wasn't here, I think I would be live too. I just wouldn't even have my computer on. I'd just be talking into the end of, a, <laughs> end of my Wacom. I think you guys are going to witness the full sprite sheet being finished. With the exception of the turnaround, but that's that's a new record for us. Not bad for taking a week off. But like I said, we're we're in we're in crunch mode. We have to get things done now. And I don't, I don't include the people sitting next to me in this office. I think it's the guy who left already. Yeah, I could probably extend this or shoot it on twos. Maybe we'll add another frame or so. <clears throat> I also noticed when I was playing Zelda how little how many characters don't actively attack you do you ever notice that Bob uh, which one? like they're yeah, they're more just like they're these moving targets that will eventually run into you but like not a lot of one yeah, no, they'll, they'll find, find you, you hey super Luchito how you doing um but you know what I mean it's it's there is very little with the exception of like the knights and uh, guys who shoot stuff at you they were more just like strategically placed and the one the new version that i was playing is probably like a bigger team like that where they are 
there yeah, are. You're probably close enough to what they're at. They're on you. I'm trying to think like the original Zelda. Like they had the the orcs. That game was so. Oh my god! I never beat that game. It's probably the game I spent most of my childhood playing too. I mean, from six to ten, I probably played played Zelda more than the the average kid, I'd say. And it wasn't the I didn't even have an antenna. It was at my friend's grandma's house. But we were so so much like family. I could go there without his, <laughs> without him. You know, just go there and use her pool and play her Nintendo. Okay, so I'm, uh... okay. Yeah, I'll do one more. Really ease out. <clears throat> All right. Then, of course, the dreaded wings, which I had to. Dad, and at the end, foolishly colored them wrong. I worked on a movie when I was at another studio where all the lines, like it was colored lines, and that was the majority of our labor, was selecting the line, changing the outline color. Everything was on ones. That was a beast, but it got us into Sundance, so that was that was a fun trip. That was 2006. 2006. It wasn't even 2000 and late yet. kind of in-betweens. The one I don't have to rough out. Yeah, everyone could be your favorite if you don't care enough. <clears throat> Alright. So this I can actually paint behind because everything's behind them. So let's see. We'll start here. It's almost like the wings would pop up around here. So they start from over there, so assuming they come. All right, that was easy. All right, let's color this bad boy, change the shadow when we have uh, a turnaround here. Oh, 
All right, so we're gonna get rid of the last, the first and last frame. First things first, I'm gonna make this a little bigger. 125. Then just shape tween it. Get rid of that. In case I wanna slow it down, I'll keep the last frame for now. But now, <clears throat> See if this works. So I'm gonna grab this guy. All right. I'm gonna swap the symbol. Turn around. That'll be frame one. So we know that's always the registration point. So it's almost a little slow. Uh, I thought it would be. Yeah, that works. It's a little slow. Like we might want to even cut out a frame. You know, flies are pretty sporadic, but. So you know, if Becky's walking, you can walk. He would go right by. Now the thing that we always have to consider like you never know how a player is going to move so say Becky's running diagonal and she's going this way and ends up over here she starts here like so the the fly would start on this one right here and end up over here on that one so there might be a third turnaround where we have to consider diagonals i'm guessing yeah, i think uh, i mean we could keep it four frames now it's not the worst it just it, it doesn't feel very fly like to me but we'll see what it looks like in the game hmm yeah, so we'll just need now one for, well, one for a turnaround for this guy, too. So he needs a flip, and then we turn around him. So he could, from the behind, we see him moving back and forth. And one from front to back, I think. And then we can call this sprite sheet finished. Unless we want to add an attack. Which we'll see. Maybe we can even add a little bit of those larva kind of guys crawling around and maybe a morph into the fly. I think that would be a fun little twitch we could do. You know, but like you'd, you'd walk in there and like you'd see a, like just a, a bunch uh, of those little guys yeah. and then they spawn yeah. into the flies. I think that looked really cool. Or you could get them before. They... You could get them before so they'll like just sit there kind of. Yeah. And that would be easy because I would just treat that like the um, cockroaches where I just yeah. need five different directions of them. Exactly. Ooh. Yeah, maybe I'll do that after this Twitch is done. <clears throat> All right. Well, well, I'm cutting you guys two minutes short unless you guys have any questions that you'd like answered that me and Bob can answer. Um, but this was started today at 9.30. I ran in late. I had to drop my son off at school. So, uh, you know, and what are we at? Four o'clock? Not bad for a day's work. And hopefully it'll provide minutes of <laughs> minutes of entertainment <laughs> when you're playing the game. Merch time. Oh yeah. Well, we do have promo time, and the thing I want to promote most is something I'm very passionate about, and that is putting Adobe right where it belongs in its place. So we have a new series called MX vs Adobe, where we do a one-to-one. -one of which one's working faster, which one's drawing better, or which one's saving faster, and all that stuff. You can find all our stuff on Twitter and YouTube. Uh, give it a like, or if you like Adobe, give it a dislike. Yeah, who am I to tell you what to like? Um, but it does, uh, 
show a little bit of one-to-one -one and uh, you know we get a lot of questions here on why we use macromedia and hopefully this uh little series uh answers some of those questions we got bloodgame.com you sign up there on a mailing list and we occasionally blast out stuff to you guys where uh it's stuff not seen on our social media we can be found on instagram here on twitch obviously um facebook and youtube and Twitter. Twitter's our most active one, if you guys want to keep in touch. And keep those questions coming until next week. We are going to be back next week. It's no more of this bi-weekly stuff. We're going to do two or three of these. We have to get back into our everyone's good graces. So, I will see you guys next week, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for joining us, everyone, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, the mouse. I can't even end the stream right. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, we made it to two at least.